what's up guys welcome to another video i hope you guys are all doing good so apparently people are super pissed off over the fact that Lil Nas X was making a mockery of Christianity i saw the music video and this are my thoughts when it comes to it first of all i think that Lil Nas X is one of those very controversial artists he's very young um, and um, what he's doing is he's a shock jock so I get it, I understand. But the strategy is pretty stupid because honestly, when I listen to Lil Nas X music, I think it's good. I've heard some songs which I thought have been slappers. There's this, uh, I think he made this song with Cardi B, I think it's called Rodeo or something. That song is a slapper, that's a hit. And he's, he's a really talented artist, right? And sometimes I think like he could be like an artist just like Ricky Martin or whatever. It doesn't really, him being gay, he doesn't really have to play into that because I don't think that people really care about that. It's 2024. People, do, they don't really care about if you're gay, straight, like that is, that is a thing of the past. So I just, I don't know. Sometimes when I watch him, I'm just like, man, if he just had the right team behind him, he could actually do something very creative and very smart instead of just getting a lot of hate from a lot of like Christians because I've seen what, I think this is what his third music video now where he's just making a mockery of Christianity. Uh, he started with uh, him twerking on the devil, doing all of that. that. That blew up, became like a huge thing. And his latest music video, he's pretending to be... I think it's Moses, Noah, uh, Christ, and then he's playing basketball with like a demon. Um, I think it's just the well is starting to dry and he doesn't really know where to go now. Now that he's pissed off so, so many Christians. And that's the stupid part. I don't think if you look at like Andrew Tate or Sneak or whatever, you know, like they had to join a religion just because they have to be connected to something that is big. And I see a lot of YouTubers doing this right now. They don't maybe subscribe to a certain religion, but they're jumping towards religion because they know that the fan base is huge. That's one of the reasons why Kanye West jumped over to Christianity. Uh, yes, he's a Christian, but of course, he saw how much money he can make from the gospel music, which he has continued with, but not really. So I think it's, I think if you are really like a Christian and you really believe in Christ, you should connect your YouTube channel to it. But if you're not, if you're just dabbling in it, it's it's not a good idea to do. Oh, oh Yo, Lil Nas X, you could eat my whole. Uh, I hate that, bro. Mm. Nah, that shit just popped up in my head, bro. That, bro, bro nah, what about my mother, bro? God gonna handle you in the right mm. way. I, I didn't even talk about that yet, bro. But look, God gonna handle yeah. you, bro. Caring, we're in this state of apathy. We get it. You don't have any talent to offer, so you are just trying to be outrageous. Uh, I disagree there. He has a lot of talent. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been here. If he didn't have talent, if his songs weren't slapping, bro. No one will care about it. They're just like, ah, oh, okay, who gives a damn about that person? But it's the fact that his songs are, these are huge songs, actually. Very, very big songs. And then the combination that he's irritating a lot of Christians and he's making a mockery of Christianity, that is what makes it a big thing. Chill, chill, chill. When will people stop mocking religion mm, for clout? True. Lil Nas X is back on his antics again, and this time he decided to disrespect Jesus Christ. Now we all know Lil Nas never goes a day without disrespecting Christianity one way or the other, but this time he took it a bit too far, and people are officially canceling him. He's been getting Leave it in the comment section, guys. Do you think that he is gay for pay or do you think that he's really gay? Because I think he's gay for pay. I think this is just a facade. Just to get a lot of views, likes, clicks. 
getting slammed on social media and even ended up posting fake documents of him getting enrolled in a Bible college in an attempt to do some damage control. The crazy thing is, this isn't the first time Nas has been called out for disrespectfully using Christian symbols in his music. He came under fire in 2020 when he released his hit song Montero and it looks like he's using the same formula again to get himself some buzz for this next coming album. Okay, so if you've been active on social media the past few days, then you've definitely seen Lil Nas getting cooked by almost everybody after he posted the cover photo for his new single, J Christ. The cover featured Nas crucified on the cross, which is a direct reference to when Jesus was crucified on the cross to die for the sins of humans. Nas posted the photo on his IG with the caption, my new single is brother that one is wild but creatively if we're just talking from a creative perspective i can say it's good that he's oh man but i don't get it like it's the emasculation of black men but it's at least good that they're depicting jesus as a black man at least that's that's the only positive that i can see from this is dedicated to the man who had the greatest comeback of all time. Oh, but he wasn't done yet, y'all. He also uploaded a TikTok video of himself seemingly mm. mocking Christians by taking communion. Brother, that's not the way to go, my guy. In while dressed like Jesus Christ and rocking a lace front on his head. <sighs> Next to blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, this is one of the most dangerous things that you could do. It's a mockery and it's extremely wicked. God's gonna end up making an example out of him. He then went on to release a teaser video for his new single, and it had even more religious symbols in it that pissed people off even more. The first trailer he dropped featured a bunch of lookalikes of high profile celebrities like Oprah Winfrey, Kanye West, Mariah Carey, Taylor Swift, and Barack Obama, all dressed in white while walking into heaven. A lot of people found this very distasteful and started accusing him of intentionally disrespecting Jesus Christ for attention. One person said, y'all just mock Christianity anyhow. What a shame, really. Again, it's time we wrap this up. May God forgive you, for real. This is, uh, this is what I love about Christianity, guys. Um, the fact that we can have this debate. If you look at other religions, this would not even be tolerated or allowed, right? And the way that I view it is like this, right? When you look at a society, what are the what what makes a society free? Is it the fact that you have structure? No, it's the fact that you can criticize the government. And we can criticize Christianity. That is what makes us free. Remember that. If you can't mock and or criticize your religion, that's not freedom. That's why that's why I'm saying like Jesus is the most important because when he came, he made it okay to repent. This is a complete mockery of Christ. What the F? Another person said, anything for clout. The music ain't good, so you need controversy. But it wasn't just fans who were coming for him. Some famous people, including Twitch streamer Kai Sinet and Candace Owens, went off on him. Kai hopped on a live stream and dragged Lil Nas for filth. He then said he hated Lil Nas and that it was just a matter of time before he faces God's judgment. No! Yo, Lil Nas X, you could eat my whole. I hate that, bro. Nah, that shit just popped up in my head, bro. That, up, bro. Nah, what am I, mother, bro? God gonna handle you in the right way. I, I didn't even talk about that yet, bro. But look, God gonna handle you, bro. And you're. Bro. What he did? No, bro. What he did? No, bro. God gonna handle that nigga. Real what shit. What did he do? Nah, bro. I'm not even gonna explain it, bro. Hey, yo. He disrespect, he disrespect, the, he disrespect, he disrespect God himself. That's 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 Christianity, crazy. like Christianity. Yes, he disrespect the whole he culture. Was, he bro. was mocking. He was mocking it. Yes, mocking. Now, as for Candace Owens, she didn't go off on him like Kai did, but she did accuse Lil Nas of only doing this to piss off Christians and to have them talk about. Can we talk about that? Uh, Candace is the new Oprah, man. She's very, very powerful. 
about him so he can get some clout for his song. She said he knows his talent isn't enough to get him the streams. He needs this and that's why he does things like this to get people attention. Single is coming out dedicated to the man who had the greatest comeback of all. He's calling the single Jay Christ. Now, of course, having a person uh, that is mocking Jesus Christ, so that this can be seen, it's obviously meant to be blasphemous. It's supposed to make Christians outraged. It's supposed to make, make us shout. He's supposed to trend on Twitter because he's doing this. It's outrageous. He's done this before, obviously. Here's another example of him dressed up like an angel holding guns. Uh, he's also promoting the same music video that's going to be coming out. He is desperate for your attention. Bro, there's certain words which I would love to use right now. Just love to use, but we can't. We can't. Like, if you say certain things, your channel is going to be taken away. That's why I'm like, I'm calm right now. I'm not attacking this man because I know the repercussions are... But I wish, I wish that I could actually say what I really think right now. I wish I could, but you guys, you're just gonna, you're just gonna have to be satisfied with this version because brah, if you say certain things to that community, woo, you'll be canceled.